Okay, so these are the trigonometric formulae, uh, addition formulae, that you are given in the formula booklet. And in these first few videos of trigonometry in core 4, I'm going to be looking at how we can work with these to find sine 2x, cos 2x and tan 2x. So it's a very similar process uh, for each of them, but I'm going to split it into three videos just for convenience sake. So, the first one that we want to work with is sine 2x. Now, 2x is x plus x, so you can write that as sine of x plus x, and then compare that with the first formula that we have. It would mean that the a is x and the b is x, and we have a plus there rather than the minus. So we'd have to have a plus there. Okay? The whole point here is that we've got a plus minus and a plus minus. So when that is plus, that is plus. When that is minus, that is minus. Unlike here, where we've got plus, minus, minus, plus. If that's plus, that's minus. If that's minus, then that's plus. Okay? So that's how it works. So sine of x plus x. So if a is x and b is x, then we have sine x, cos x, and then we've got a plus, cos x, sine x. So here I've got sine x cos x and sine x cos x, because that is just, I can flip those round and rewrite that as sine x cos x if I like. Okay, so I've got two sine x cos x. And this is the identity that you need to know and make sure you remember. Sine 2x is 2 sine x cos x. Okay, it's very important that you remember that. Or, if worst comes to worst, remember how to actually find it using the trig formula. 